see thee rise, the true nor strong and free. From far and wide, O Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Hello, Bob. Hi there. You've done a fantastic job in your tenure as uh, Chief of Police. Uh, what programs did you institute that you would like to see ongoing after you retire? Well, there's several. I've been chief for such a long time. There's been several programs that have been introduced over the year, but I definitely got to say there's a couple of favorites that I think have to continue on. One is our uh, technological crime unit that does a lot of work with the forensics and the technology and child abuse. Uh, that definitely has to go on. We recently created a crime suppression unit to deal with high-risk individuals and high-risk situations in Sault Ste. Marie. Again, another uh, very good one. And our drug unit that we just created also uh, on the enforcement side and we're partnering up with the Nishnabek Police Service as well as the RCMP so combined efforts to keep drugs off our street. Lastly I think in a proactive way uh, we, we've got to continue on and I think that's why Chief Keach has been chosen the next chief here on the community mobilization and engagement model in the Gore Street project for downtown. Vitally important to this community. So those are just a few of the programs and services that we've introduced that I, I see continuing on. What do you think of the new choice? Well, I think the board made a, a very wise choice. Uh, when I look at the background of, uh, of Chief Keach, when you look at his operational side and, and the areas that he has worked in as far as uh, major crime, uh, and then you look at what he has done over the last four years in the community mobilization model that Sudbury has introduced, and we look to Sudbury to be leaders in that area, and, and Chief Keach uh, is the right person, I think, to take over and guide our community down that road. Yeah. And I imagine you've been asked this before, but what's next for Bob Davis? Well, uh, we'll have to see. I know I got a list of uh, chores to do at home. I, I don't plan on leaving uh, town. I love Sault Ste. Marie. I grew up here. Uh, I'll be sticking around the Sioux. Um, I'd like to keep active. Um, We'll just see what, the, what really happens. I don't have any major concrete plan but to stay and enjoy civilian life. You realize you just admitted to having a honeydew list? <laughs> well, yeah, on record, I guess so. <laughs> Thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you. Hello, Bob Peach. How do you feel today? Um, very, very excited, very, very happy. Kind of, a, in a sense, the culmination of an extensive policing career and a new opportunity. So a new opportunity to lead a new organization in a new, new community, and that's very, very exciting to me. You've been in the Sioux for a bit now. Have you had a chance to go around and see some of the city? Actually, I spent time in here as a child. My mother was raised in Sault Ste. Marie. My grandparents lived here. I used to summer vacation at a camp on Lake Superior, so I mm. am somewhat familiar. I'm now in the process trying to re reorientate myself. I mean, obviously, I've got to relocate a family and find a home, so that's kind of a priority along mm -hmm. with the, um, in a sense, learning my organization and learning the community. I heard that the Reeve from Prince Lake or Prince Township is canvassing for your, uh, for uh, you to buy a house out there. Yeah, he was pitching the uh, reduced taxes, I think. So you know, I'll take my time and figure out what's the best fit, uh, fit for my family. Mm -hmm. What is, what first attracted you to this job? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of the direction that uh, the organization's been going under the leadership of Chief Davies. So um, I'm very, very heavily involved in Ontario's new community policing model, the engagement and mobilization model. They're doing that on Gore Street. A lot of that initiative was um, lessons learned from an initiative I undertook in Sudbury in what we called our Zone 30, so the Donovan Louis Street flour mill neighborhoods. Um, and they're also going in the direction of community safety and well-being planning and something mm -hmm. else that I'm very, very passionate about and want to succeed. Are there any uh, new ideas that you want to institute here? That well, yeah, one that I'm very, very um, believe in is the use of effective crime analytics. So we have a lot of information within our records management system. We're only now learning how to access that in a sense to measure officers' performance, deploy resources in a more effective manner, see where crime hotspots are and address those um, hot spots. There's mm -hmm. so much information within our own record system and that's something that I will um, attempt to institute in the uh, Sault Ste. Marie Police Service in a very timely fashion. Oh good. Uh, I, I can't help but finish with this. Uh, this is Greyhound country. 
are you going to change from a Wolves fan to a Greyhound fan? What's going to happen there? Yeah, this, this is, is important. Yeah, I know. I understand uh, hockey in this community. I mean, my son played AAA hockey and played on the, uh, at that time, was the uh, Wolves. Um, but I mean, uh, Chief Davies has already provided me with my Greyhound sweater. It's kind of tradition um, when we have a zone conference involving the Chiefs. Uh, the losing team tends to wear the sweater of the other uh, police. Or, uh, Chief wears the sweater of the losing team, so I'm hoping that uh, Chief Patterson will be and uh, Chief Cook will be wearing a Greyhounds jersey more than mm -hmm. I'm wearing a Wolves and Battalion jersey. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, I, I lo love hockey. It's something that I look forward to, and I will be a strong Greyhound fan. Okay. I thank you very much, and congratulations. Thank you so much.